The Little Doctor William Worrell Mayo Small Stature Large Impact The state of Minnesota may most often elicit thoughts of harsh winters or ten thousand lakes, but perhaps Minnesota's most valuable asset is the Mayo Clinic, located in Rochester. The Mayo Clinic provides extensive care for patients all around the world, whether it be life-saving heart surgery, care for a woman who has just become a mother, or yearly influenza vaccines. The Mayo Clinic will provide the care that is necessary. At Mayo Clinic, the patient's best interest and health come first, a precedent established from the beginning by founder William Worrell Mayo. William Worrell Mayo was an outstanding doctor at the head of medicine in the 19th century, and today people are able to reap the vast benefit of his leadership in the medical field over a century ago. His legacy began with the founding of St. Mary's Hospital and mentorship of his physician sons, William James and Charles Horace Mayo, and continues with the expansive Mayo healthcare enterprise with its global reach. His life and practices were the seed that blossomed into a new form of healthcare delivery, the group practice, that has benefited every generation since. William Worrell Mayo was born on May 31, 1819, and grew up near Manchester, England. Mayo first immigrated to America in 1846. He studied medicine at Bellevue Hospital in New York City, was tutored in Greek and Latin, studied Darwin with great interest, and loved to travel to improve his understanding of medicine and expand his knowledge of operations. Mayo was fascinated with the microscope and research for medical and scientific purposes. In 1863, Mayo moved to Rochester, Minnesota to fill his new role of examining potential troops for the United States Civil War. After finding the area prosperous and to his liking, he decided to settle here long term. Mayo was the area's general doctor and surgeon, and he also served as the mayor of Rochester for a term. Mayo was locally well known and trusted as a doctor and a man. Mayo often had his sons, William James and Charles Horace, accompany him for operations. The Mayo brothers grew up practicing medicine and loving it. William J. would say, We came along in medicine like farm boys do on a farm. Even their mother, Louise Abigail Mayo, was a good doctor, according to the brothers. At age 16, William J. was his father's personal medical assistant. William J. would help his father with surgeries and autopsies, and Charles was efficient in anesthesia. As they grew up, William J. became interested in the abdomen, while Charles was fascinated with the eyes and throat. One day, when the Mayo brothers were at the slaughterhouse outside of town to collect animal parts for surgical practice, a storm was coming quickly on Rochester. The brothers rushed home and just barely made it into town before a tornado struck. August 21st, 1883. Within minutes, massive amounts of destruction covered the small town. The tornado had killed 22 people and injured over 100. Through the night, the three males were tending to the injured. Since there was no hospital in Rochester, the patients were distributed between three places. The abandoned Buck Hotel, where Mayo was working. The Mayo office, 
where Charles and William J. were working, and the convent of the Sisters of St. Francis, where the sisters were tending to patients. The tornado convinced the Mother Superior of the Sisters of St. Francis, Mother Mary Alfred Mose, that Rochester needed a hospital. She brought her case to Mayo, but he was wary of the proposition. He thought that the town was not large enough to support a hospital. Hospitals were too expensive and often not successful. Mother Alfred Mose persisted, saying with our faith and hope, and energy, it will succeed. After plenty of pleading and convincing, Mayo finally made a deal with Mother Alfred Moves. He would be the head doctor of the clinic if the Sisters of St. Francis raised the funds and if there was at least one trained nurse on staff. In 1883, William J. received his degree in medicine and joined his father in the medical practice after attending medical school at the University of Michigan. And in 1888, Charles followed after, receiving his degree from Northwestern University. This meant that the doctors would also work with Mayo at the new hospital. In 1889, St. Mary's Hospital was opened. Mayo was the head doctor, the sisters worked as nurses, as well as one trained nurse, Edith Graham, who later married Charles. William J. and Charles both worked at the hospital with their father, and it was a great success, contrary to Mayo's initial doubts. As the hospital progressed, and the Mayo brothers became more practiced, they often traveled to learn more about surgeries. This was something that their father had taught them. Another thing that Mayo had taught his sons was that no man is big enough to be independent of others. This is something that stuck with William J. and Charles as they began their own clinic in the 1890s alongside their father and based it off of trustworthy partnerships. This was the beginning of the group practice. The early development of the Mayo Clinic was crucial to its success. Mayo had taught the boys to be brothers before partners. They were. No decision was made that both did not entirely mutually agree on. The Mayos chose their early partnerships with great care. In order for group practice to work, everyone working alongside each other must have character enough to put aside petty jealousy or greed. Everyone must instill into their practice that the needs of the patient are the highest priority. Today, the Mayo Clinic healthcare system reaches across the United States and benefits many people across the globe. Those working at Mayo as well as Mayo Clinic patients are very aware that something is different. There is fellowship and friendly cooperation between physicians of different practices as well as a constant focus on the patient and a priority of their needs. At Mayo Clinic, the ability to practice at the highest quality possible is valued more than being a skilled researcher. This is not the case at most medical institutions. This is what has allowed the Mayo Clinic to grow immensely. The Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota is the height of medical care because of the leadership and teachings of, as well as the priorities set by William Worrell Mayo. Many know about the legacy of the Mayo Brothers, but few understand the importance of William Worrell Mayo and his influence. Charles Mayo is known to have said, the biggest thing Will and I ever did was to pick the father and mother we had. The legacy that many see as of the Mayo Brothers is the blossom of the seed that William Worrell Mayo planted.